Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make a masked dex animation in Figma. Let's get started. So to begin, let's go to resources and let's select free pick plugin space and let's pick this space image. All right, and here we go. We have a nice big image. There you go. And let's resize to one, uh, to one nine eight zero. And ten eighty. All right. So this is a full HD frame size. All right. Now let's go and create our text. So for our text, we're gonna create one text or one word at a time, and let's make it like that. The size it's 360 pixels all right and then let's duplicate the image and the word I'm gonna create a series of words each word uh, has its own image then we'll mask its word with an image together then we animate everything all right, I hope this will be simple and clear tutorial. And uh, when I was preparing this tutorial, it wasn't easy to find all the tricks to do this animation, but I hope it will be simple for you guys. Now, for the first text, let's move it behind this image. All right, in the center. And let's go select the two, the image and the text layer, and use mask. That's great. Let's do that again here. Move it to the center, then behind the image. So the image will be on top of the text. And right click, use image. All right. For me, I find it preferable to have uh, an image on each word. It's uh, it create a much smoother animation. Now I'm gonna create the same frame size as my image, 1980 by 100, uh, uh, 1080. All right. And for all those words, let's move everything inside one frame. And let's keep only the ultra word in the screen. And let's zoom in. And for the first screen, we'll start by, let's just pick Ultra and scale it up, hit the K key. Just, excuse me, I'll repeat. So just pick the Ultra uh, layer and not the image and hit the K key and scale it up. like that all right so we're gonna start with that screen let's hit command c and command v to duplicate and this let's go to this ultra and scale it back to you know something like that all right, now let's duplicate 
and let's move it to the left and let's bring our other text let's just bring the first one fast and scale it down like that make sure they are aligned together like that aligned and centered command c and command v let's bring back let's bring the third word move this to the left and give this the same size all right okay here we go now to make our animation look realistic I'm gonna you know move the layer the image layer inside each word Alright, and also scale up like that. So we have an effect, but the size of just the text that is changing and not the image. Alright, and then let's duplicate this and let's move those words to the left until they disappear and let's bring this 2024 to the center command C and command V and let's select just the layer of the text this is the layer of the text and scale it up Alright, scale it up and move the zero like that to the center. And maybe we'll go zero layer, excuse me. I think let's go crazy and scale it all the way like that yep and let's duplicate that image and move it to the top all right let's see how we get or what we got here let's select everything and create some um, some spacing and let's go to prototype and let's connect everything the first one okay let's just select the first one and connect it with its next screen after delay zero and smart animate is in let me make sure All right, is in 500 millisecond, and it will be the same for the other screens. Let's connect everything together. Zero millisecond and 500. After delay, let's only test that. Okay, I think it will take some time to load because we have big images. All right, 
that looks nice. All right, I'm gonna change this. I mean, I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna pick this frame and remove 2020 forward from this frame and keep it like that. Let's see. All right. So, all right. Let's bring it back and make it bigger like that and make it zero. So let me go back, excuse me. So first I just deleted it, then I hit Command C to bring it back and Sontra it. And if you have lost it, I'm sorry, you can just copy it from the fi frame five and paste it here. Hit the K key to make it bigger. And also make sure you don't resize the image, resize just the text mask. And make it opacity to layer to zero. All right. And here, let's bring the size of the text down. And central. All right, let's see. All right, I think it's better. I think it's better. Let's realign that. Okay. Let's go back and see. I think we have some problem in this animation. Yeah. This 2024 words, I'm going to remove it from the second frame and the third frame like that yes that's great that's great now I will add add in here do more white like that scale it down command C and command V to this and move it to the excuse me move it all the way to the top to be hidden all right and here make sure it is centered Let's go. Let's see. Great. Let's change this. This one, let's change it to after the day is in gentle and zero. All right, let's see. All right. Now maybe I will keep some delay time here. 500 millisecond. Yes, it's great. Now let's connect this dust screen with the first one to create a loop. Now let's see. Maybe. 
add let me change this from gentle to ease in so the last screen with the first screen must be ease in and 500 millisecond so we'll have a smooth animation transition well even though we have a slide effect don't like that slide effect so we can hide it by uh, removing time all right now let's just test it on full screen let me resize this fit maybe I'm gonna add this last image this image of my frame command C gonna copy it and paste it here and make its layer to zero and let's see what happens now I am searching for a smooth transition yeah All right, that was everything for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for taking the time and you know having fun with me in this uh, animation. Don't forget to uh, hit the like and subscribe button and hopefully I will see you in another video.